Hi students, welcome to all of you to this Concepts and Snippets session. Today we are going to discuss electrochemistry, a branch of chemistry having the maximum application in our life. As you know, we are all using a lot of electronic equipments which need electrical energy. Now, the device for converting chemical energy into electrical energy as a result of spontaneous redox reaction is called a galvanic cell or also called voltaic cell. Okay, I repeat, a galvanic cell is a device for converting chemical energy into electrical energy as a result of spontaneous redox reaction. Now, let us see a typical galvanic cell that is Daniel cell. A Daniel cell is a typical galvanic cell I have shown. It consists of a zinc rod dipped in one molar zinc sulfate solution as the anodic compartment. You know, a galvanic cell consists of two half cells. One is the anodic half cell, another is the cathodic half cell. At anodic half cell, oxidation takes place and electrons are continuously released. And the electrons flow from anode to cathode. Remember, see, the flow of electron is from anode to cathode, while the flow of current is from cathode to anode. Number one. So, a galvanic cell is a device for converting chemical energy of reactants into electrical energy as a result of spontaneous redox reaction. A galvanic cell consists of two half cells. One is the anodic half cell where oxidation takes place and the cathodic half cell where reduction takes place. The most important thing is the anodic half cell and cathodic half cell never come in direct contact. The contact is made through an arrangement called salt bridge. It is an inverted U-shaped glass tube which is filled with a paste of saturated potassium chloride in an agar agar gel medium. Okay. Now, a galvanic cell is represented by IUPSA rule. The anode is represented as metal bar metal ion. Okay. This is the anodic half cell. It is always kept at left. The cathodic half cell is represented as metal ion bar metal. That is the cathodic half cell arrangement. And as I told, the two solutions are internally connected through a salt bridge that is represented by a double vertical line. This Daniel cell is represented as Daniel cell is represented as you see zinc in contact with one molar. Zinc sulfate solution is the anodic compartment, while a copper rod dipped in copper sulfate solution of one molar concentration is the cathodic compartment, and they are connected through a salt bridge. Okay. Remember the polarity of anode is negative, very important. The galvanic cell anode is negative, while cathode is positive. The direction of flow of electron is from anode to cathode, the conventional flow of current is from cathode to anode. It is a spontaneous redox reaction. Now, how will you find out the electromotive force or the EMF? It is the potential difference between the cathode and the anode. Okay, So, it is the potential difference between the cathode and anode. There is a spontaneous flow of electric current. Light heat flows from hot end to cold end. Water flows from high altitude to lower altitude because of pressure difference. Heat flows from hot end to cold end because of temperature difference. Similarly, for electric current to flow, there must be a potential difference. The potential difference between cathode and anode of a galvanic cell is called EMF. Okay. Now, let us do a simple problem. How to calculate the standard EMF of Daniel cell. Standard EMF means what? The conditions are standard. E0 is called 
the standard emf of cell standard emf of cell it is measured at 298 kelvin temperature using one molar solution using one molar solution and if any gases are involved the pressure is maintained at one bar pressure is one bar okay now let us do this problem calculate the standard emf of the daniel cell you are given the standard electrode potential you know the formula to calculate standard emf of any galvanic cell is what e0 cathode electrode potential of cathode minus electrode potential of anode so always remember the potential of the cathode should be high and that of anode should be low then only e0 is positive then only the redox reaction is spontaneous or e0 cell should be positive so e0 copper cathode is plus 0.34 anode zinc is minus 0.76 so you see e0 cell of daniel cell is 1.10 it is positive the positive e0 value positive e0 cell value indicate okay the cell reaction is spontaneous the cell reaction is spontaneous or the galvanic cell will work spontaneously okay i hope you understood yes we'll be doing a different varieties of problems in our next sessions thank you